Welcome to the maze, Runer. And we start off with an elevator with a bitch and a pig in it. Then go up, open up, dudes gather around. And Eyebrows jumps down to greet the bitch, pulls him out, and he immediately starts running away because he's afraid and then eats shit because he has a mad case of the panic legs. Then he gets up and notices he's in a box. Fascinating stuff. After that, he gets thrown in a tiny jail cell, which doesn't really look that secure to me. I mean, what is that? Some makeshift rope and sticks? I reckon he can break out of that with just a little bit of brute force. Anyway, this guy Albi comes over and he's like, relax, bitch, I come in peace. Then he gets in the tour, tells him that it's okay, he doesn't remember shit. That's how they all were once upon a time and in a couple days he'll remember his name because that's the only thing they let him remember something like that and he shows him the box he came up with which comes up with a bunch of shit and a new greenie every month then he takes him up to this fucking tower and shows him the bigger box that they live in and the bitch is like what's out there listen this is kind of a everything the light touches is our kingdom type situation okay just don't go beyond the walls dog then chubby cheek chuck comes along helps the bitch boy to his hammock when he gets curious and goes over to the doors and sees a couple of runners coming back then dipshit chuck blurts out that they're actually in a maze and the runners go out to map the maze every day and study it and shit and this just makes him more curious then eyebrows comes out of nowhere and pushes him to the ground how bitch boy didn't hear him coming i don't know also why the fuck is eyebrows so fucking violent shit what's his problem anyway eyebrows is mean everyone gathers around bitch boy has a freak out session then big roar and wind come from maze which makes bitch boy soil his undies and then the maze closes for the day cut to fire the glade having some kind of celebration with bonfire and shit and bitch ass is hanging out with his new best bud newtone and newtone gives him a drink and the bitch goes Oh. oh my god, what is that? <laughs> it's urine. Then Newt tells him that they've been in here for three years and the runners still haven't found a solution for the maze because it changes every night. Also at night, these big fuck off minosaur minosaurs <laughs> what these big off <laughs> not even dinosaurs what? these big fuck off monsters called grievers come out at night to like dwell around and do shit i don't know what they do but they come out and do shit and no one has ever seen one and lived to tell the tale which is a fucking lie because as we will come to see in this movie there's a shitty ass zombie virus and they have this whole banishment procedure to throw out the infected into the maze to keep the rest of the glade safe and as far as i can tell the only way to get infected is if you get stung by a griever which means there has to have been at least one dude who got stung survived in because grievers only come out at night and come back for them to know that grievers can sting you and they infect you and stuff and develop this whole banishment shit so that is a lie newt you are a fucking lying twat mate anyway they get up and newt shows them around then eyebrows and invites him to a little man on man action you feel me a little fist play if you will and eyebrows gives him a good doink on the head which helps him remember his name which is thomas and they all like whoa fuck yeah thomas raise roof nibble then they all hit the hay and thomas has a flashback dream and next day albie wakes him up bright and early to go look at a bunch of names on a wall and then while tom helps out with some shit keeps suggesting ways to escape and apparently climbing to the top of the walls doesn't work because the ivy doesn't go all the way to the top what in the pixie fart shit does that even mean is he talking about the wall grass or vines or whatever if so he's lying because check this out right here freeze frame enlarge and enhance boom that's Ivy right there. Top to bottom, he's a fucking liar. Again. And if that doesn't work, then just build something. Jeez, you build all this shit. Seriously, three years and no one has suggested building a, like a really long ladder or something? Fucking, what Dietrich's fart shitheads are you? Whatever. Apparently, he tried everything. So Tom goes to the woods to get some poop and sees a gravestone thing, a uh, grave wood. Then a runner shows up like, Hiya, Georgie! And attacks Tom and runs after him. They run back to the glade and Newt bonks the guy on the head and turns out he got stung by a griever, which explains why he's acting all mad cow disease like. And now be explained to Tom that there's this infection thing and Ben got stung and he's infected and he kept saying shit like uh, it's Tom's fault and he was there and shit like that. And after that, they get Ben out at maze closing time and poke him with sticks till he either gets squished by the doors or goes into the maze at his own will. Well, not his own will, you know, they force him out. And they feel very bad about it. Then bedtime comes and Thomas has more flashback memory dreams about this bitch and that hoe. Wakes up to see Albi, Mino, Minho, Miro, Milo. Mojito. Whatever. Albi and North Korea going on into the maze to retrace uh, Ben's footstep because he got stung during the day and that's odd because creepers only come out at night. Then Newt tells Tom that Albi was the first person to come here ever and they wait and wait and wait for them to come back until the gates start to close but then Korea shows up with Albi on his back. However, they won't make it in time so Thomas decides to squeeze through and traps himself outside and Thomas finds out that Albi got stung and Mino knocked his crazy ass out and dragged him over here. So let me get this straight. He got stung by a griever and Mino somehow was able to knock him out and carry him all the way over here without being stung himself. That sounds like horse shit to me. Must have been a booby trap or something like that. By the way, Mino never mentions how Albi got stung. He just got stung. Because fuck us, am I right? It's not like this is important information or anything. Whatever, creepers be lurking now. So they take Albi, carrying him around a bit, and then decide to hang him up from some vines to hide him. But while doing that, Mino chickens out because he saw a queefer coming from the distance. But Thomas stays and hides from the griefer underneath the vines and stuff, lets it pass, and then gets up and ties a rope to keep Albi suspended up there. And why didn't they just hide him down there? Seriously, what the f- Why'd you hide- 
Oh my god. Whatever. After Thomas ties his shit, he steps in some pre-cum and the weaver nuts on him and we finally get to see the fucking cyborg fleshlight spider looking ass up close. And Tommy Boy runs away, does some Minecraft parkour, Weaver gets tangled up in some vines and Tom sees Mino, who intends to lose the thing down this changing part of the maze where two parts are now closing up together. But where one man sees an escape route, another sees an opportunity for murder. So he waits and baits in the fucking griefer. It comes after him down this squishy wishy hallway and they kill it, survive the night and bring back Albie to the glade. Then Eyebrows calls a meeting cause Tom broke rules or something and he's just a bitter cunt like that. But then sirens come on cause the box is coming back up, they rush to and Nuke goes in and they're all like, what is it boys? We got pussy. There's a female in there with a note in her hand that says she's the last one then she wakes up and says Tom's his name and passes out and everybody looks at him like, what the fuck man? So they bring her to their medical shack and Tom goes back into the maze with non-runners cause the old ones pussied out and quit. They go back in there and inspect the dead griever and none of them, not even the fat black comedic relief is out of breath at all but whatever it's not like they've been running or anything they find inside the griever an electric gizmo thingamajig then they decide to go back because it's getting late bitch how is it late all you did was have a three minute meeting and inspect some fresh pussy anyway they go back and eyebrows is still mad at tom because he broke the rules <laughs> me, 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 me. and he tells nude who's second in the command after albi to punish tom and he's like mm, all right then i'll fucking punish him one night in the shitty jail without any food what that's it this is bullshit dad no, don't touch me. Then Mino shows Thomas their very own Pentagon, top secret shit, okay? With a map of the maze, you see, they figured out that there are like eight sections on the outskirts of the maze and each night, one of them opens up and the maze changes in a specific way and these sections open up in the same specific pattern every single time. But crucially, there is no way out of this maze. But now they think not, or Mino thinks not, because the thing that they killed might have come from section seven because the thing with Bob says seven on it, which is a very ha moment from uh, North Korea. Good job, North Korea. Then they get word that the female has awoken. She freaked out and climbed their shitty little watchtower, which is fair enough because if this were realistic, let's be honest here, you got a bunch of teenagers, probably horny as fuck, she'd be dead via dicking within the week. Anyway, she up there scared as fuck. Show us your tits. Sell me your bath Yo, water. water. So Thomas goes up there and turns out they be having the same dreams of this bitch saying wicked is good, but they still remember nothing. Oh, by the way, her name's Teresa, but who cares? Because she came up with two syringes of blue goop and after much debate, they stick Albie with it because why not? Then Eyebrows comes in to take Thomas to the pit and and he asks him why he's mad at him and he'd be like well ever since you came up here shit's been hitting the fan mad like clockwork bro so yeah that's why hey, you fuck you suck a dick eat die penis <laughs> Now, nah, okay, fuck you, eyebrows. You've been a dick ever since you laid eyes on this motherfucker, ever since he came out the cage. This is no excuse, okay? You couldn't have known at the time you saw him that shit would be hitting the fan. You're just a dick. Or maybe actually he remembers him from a past life. Uh, I don't know. Maybe the book can shed some light on that. I didn't read it because I'm not a fucking nerd. If you're a nerd yourself when you did read the book and you have some information about this, feel free to insult me in the comments. I know you will. Anyway, in the pit he goes, doors tied down with some rope right within Thomas's reach for ultra security. No way he can escape now. Chuck comes along and sneaks Tom some fermented yeast they talk about some shit blah 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 bonding blah 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 piss take shut fuck up <laughs> who cares next day comes and mino takes him out to run the maze all the way through sections five six and seven pass by some rusty old metal and the thing about starts beeping and showing them the way and leads them to this corridor and at the end of the corridor the thingy goes nuts and turns green and the wall opens up and then a glory hole opens up and then they look inside and the laser comes in like bzzz, and sounds happen that trigger a very distinct oh shit. shit in both of them and they start to run back through section seven because it's closing down down, the rusty bits fucking fold down and then they squeeze through this thing and almost die claustrophobia oh my god fuck me they make it out of that with a skin on their tits and they get back to the glade and tell them about their findings eyebrows get super mad and again and then terabucha interrupts the squabble with news that albi is up and my boy stunned as fuck he shooketh my guy and he'd be like there's no way you're on thomas be like what you mean and he'd be like i remember and he'd be like what you remember and he'd be like you and we'd be supposed to be like ooh. I don't care. Continuing onwards, there is commotion happening because the gates aren't closing for the night time. Time in this movie moves way too fast. I swear, just a second ago was like midday or some shit. Anyway, door isn't closing. Big ol' fuck. But not only that, their olfalco meter triples because three other doors open around the fucking square they're living in and the Weavers have been released and they start flooding in the doors and attacking them. So get this, they hide with torches. Very smart, genius. They're never gonna find you now. Then Teresa throws a Molotov at them and that's literally the only time they try to use fire against the Weavers, fucking morons. 
and eventually they seek shelter in their stick hut and the grievers don't give a damn they just huff and puff and take the central supporting structure out. Then Albi goes ballistic on their ass and breaks off one of them stinger thingies and gets caught himself and after that the grievers all leave for some reason having killed half of their glade or some shit. Then Eyebrow stomps over and gives Thomas a mean white hook angry as fuck like it's his fault Albi said it he remembered and Thomas goes like I have to remember too and sticks himself with the broken stinger and passes out obviously they give him the blue goop antidote shit and he wakes up having remembered a bunch of shit and eyebrows now being in control of the glade and what he remembers is that this maze is a test and him and Teresa were at the other end observing the subjects or whatever and now for some reason which he does not mention for movie suspense they are test subjects themselves then after some words of motivation from Fig Newton they decide to stage a coup against eyebrows I never used that word before a coup it's pretty cool pretty cool. <laughs> uh, I'm hoping I'm using it right though. Alright, cool time is upon us. Eyebrows is trying to tie them up as an offering to the griefers, which is real damn ass shit. But Hobbit is on standby and they do the coup and they're like, we think we have a way out and you can join us if you want. But Eyebrows being stubborn dickhead is like, no, this is our home. Nah, it ain't you fucking stupid ass burnt eyebrows pussy goddamn. Then half of Eyebrows' men switch teams to go with Thomas. Then they run through the maze to section 7 and there's no way that Chucky the Beast 12 year old is keeping up with these guys. Just check out this clip right here. He's falling back hard. Jeez, slow it down, you're gonna give him a heart attack. Anyway, plan is open door with Jim a thing and hopefully there's a way out on the other side. So they give the thingy the thing to Chuck and they get to the corridor, but there's a creeper there. So Tom says like, we either get out of here, we die trying, then they charge the thing. And Chuck does not go to the door immediately like he should have because he has horse bile in his brain. Instead, he almost loses the thing and they see some more creepers coming up. A few of them die, but no one important though, so who cares? They get to the door, it opens up and they go inside the glory hole and they find the circular thing with a bunch of eight, like eight numbers on it. So they figure out that it's the pattern of the maze. So so while fighting off this ugly piece of shit, Mino gives them the pattern of the eight sections of the maze and they enter the code and turns green, the glory hole closes and a door opens. And they go through into this corridor that lights up and then into a lab that had a massacre happen in it and Mino pushes away this gun. And how about picking it up you fucking retard, seems like a valuable tool in this type of situation. Anyway, Thomas sees a shiny red button, presses it and this hole comes up on screen saying she's part of the world catastrophe kill zone department. To the fuck does that even mean? You have a world catastrophe and you have a kill zone department for it? That only makes sense if you have a, like a zombie outbreak. Other than that, it's fucking useless. It's just one of the cool acronym for the big bad company in this movie. Anyway, bitch is like, the sun scorched the earth, lots of people burned and died, look at this roasted ass. Then we got a zombie virus that's incurable, but then the new generation came up that was kind of immune-ish, so we thought we'd test you and study you like literal lab rats to find a cure, and now people want to kill us because we're such assholes, but trust me, wicked is good. Yeet! Then a door opens up and somehow through the power of bullshit, Eyebrow shows up with a gun in his own thing thingamabob and being stung, points the gun at Thomas being like, we belong to the maze, I bet a gun would have come in real handy right now, wouldn't it, ass face? All you got is this useless stick. <laughs> Shit, good throw, I take it back. No wait, Chuck, Chuck's dead. Ha! You see? You wouldn't have that problem if you had a gun, you could've shot first. So Chuck dies, ripping cholesterol, sad Thomas noises, people come in with guns, take him to a helicopter and fly by the maze, and then we get a clip of what's wicked bitch who isn't dead, she was just faking it for the views, you know, it's just a prank bro, and she says some shit like, uh, they took the bait, they're promising, it's time to begin phase two, then we get a helicopter shot, fade to black, eat my ass. This movie gets one pencil sharpener out of one dick sharpener. Ugh, why did I say that? Bad visual, bad visual!